Want to listen to this video on the go? Head over to your favorite podcast platform such as Google Podcast, Anchor FM, and Spotify to listen to the audio of this video. Make sure to follow, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Much appreciated. Now you've probably seen this video circulating a while back. It went super duper viral when this white woman was found to be underneath all of this. Yeah, shocking, I know. But everybody ran to make a video, myself included, on my other channel, It's Time for Life. But then a lot of facts came out about this whole situation. That doesn't negate the fact that this is absolutely wrong in my opinion. Um, but I'm going to get African auntie and uncle on deck to see what they think about this very interesting blackface prosthetics. But first. Push, push, push. I and then don't... she goes, she goes. <laughs> okay, Sarafina, <laughs> not. <laughs> What was that? A mess. A mess. And it's so sad whenever we talk about these topics, we actually don't dive into them so people actually get what is actually wrong with this. Yes, people don't understand that blackface is absolutely not new. I mean, look at this. This is from like the 70s or something like that. Two black crows, Moran and Mac. One is obviously named Moran. Uh, Moran to resemble moron you know they were really poking fun at the black people and their features and white people would go in blackface to entertain other white people and they would portray the image of black people and make them look extremely dumb make themselves look black to portray dumbness they don't get the the historical context of it and that's why we have this problem mm. Smith? Uh, and it's such a powerful history mm. when you talk about blackface but if you could find dumb table on the internet then you can find the information that'll tell you that this is wrong but people of course do not agree and do not think there's anything wrong with this i saw this in the youtube shorts this was another girl reacting to this video on tiktok and somebody in the video reacted and said for people who do not know there is a popular show in the balkan countries called your face sounds familiar you can look it up on youtube there are some pretty good performances the purpose of the show is to imitate famous singers around the world, not only vocally, but physically, and to reach the best imitation possible in order to win. It's not done to offend anyone. When a black singer is imitated, he should resemble visually, because even for the white singers, there are makeup changes. They change the nose shape, the eyes, etc. It would be ra racist for me if they didn't include black artists in this show, as there are so many icons who deserve to be included, and honestly, Whitney Houston, Ray Charles, Michael Jackson, and so many others um, are very hard to imitate, but people try their best to show them respect. And at the time that I took the screenshot, this had 44 likes and people are obviously digging that. At least I'm finding it very helpful because at least now we have a little bit more context to what this is. Because at first people were saying, oh, it's a model and uh, it was for a photo shoot, but that's not the case. Now we know why. Still problematic though still problematic and not every country does this a lot of other countries do these imitation shows i know other countries that do these imitation shows but if you're going to portray a white person you will be a white person portraying a white person and if you're going to portray a black person they will find a black person to portray that black person i think that is where the problem lies with this surely there would be somebody else who can sing like nom table and that person would be black in this country where they're shooting this show so that is where people have the issue because what you're doing is you're taking away from black people being able to also shine, be able to also show their arts, their crafts, their talents and all that. If everything is going to be white, 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 now even if you're not a white person imitating a black person, we're still going to find a white person to do that. That's problematic. And the whole painting yourself to be another race thing is so problematic because of the history and you can look that up you need to ed educate yourself everybody has everybody had to learn these things but yeah that is why it does not sit right with a lot of people but let's continue this woman went kind of viral um for having on prosthetic blackface you you see and learn something new every single day and this woman went viral because there is a whole white lady underneath all this okay this is not just makeup oh no this is prosthetics Okay, now I did a video on this on my other channel, It's Time for Life, a whole video on that. Um, but now I am joined by African auntie and uncle, and we're going to discuss and see what they think about it because they never seen something like this before. It's very, very strange. Now, 
Um, apparently, because not a lot of people did a lot of digging, but I watched a video by the Mademoiselle here on YouTube, and she did some digging, and after that, a few others have too, um, or maybe before that, I don't know. But apparently, this is a model or slash singer, and she was at a talent show or some kind of music show anyway, and she sang the song Jerusalem, Jerusalem, that mm -hmm. one. And apparently, she's trying to look like the African woman who sings that song. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness me. And I'm not saying her name because I don't want to butcher her name. And don't play about. But yeah, she is she's supposedly trying to be her. Mm -hmm. And the crowd was happy with it. Nobody was shocked. They probably knew that she was white, but they were all mm -hmm. in... in, 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 in um, what do you call it? All together, raising their hand from mm -hmm. side to side, mm -hmm. waving from side to side. They were happy. All we got was this video on TikTok of this woman getting her stuff removed. And I don't know if it was supposed to wow us. I don't know what we're supposed to think, whether they wanted to go viral or thought that maybe people in other places of the world would say, ooh, come, come and do this with us too, with our show or whatever. Turns out that's not what they were trying to do. They were just trying to show their artistry of this Bulgarian show that they do this all the time on. Like they always imitate people and to the best of their ability. And that means having blackface prosthetics um, to give you the full feel and the full experience and they love it over there. So the people that are from there that know about this show think that the rest of us are crying boohoo tears and shouldn't because it's not meant to be offensive. But of course, people took it that way because there was no context to it. And even with that context, the question remains, does that still make this okay? Hmm. We didn't know this before shooting this video, but we're going to discuss what we thought about it on initial glance. So here we go. Why do you have to go to that extreme length to, to, to sing it? What do you want to portray? Mm -mm -mm. Other people might think, okay, she really wanted to be, you know, there are people who imitate Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. It isn't that they want to be rich. Mm -hmm. There are blacks, but I mean, they, they dress like Michael Jackson, they perform like Michael Jackson. Okay, that is well understood. Mm -hmm. There are whites who dress like Michael Jackson and, you know, perform like Michael Jackson. The, the thing also, you mentioned Michael Jackson, yeah, because obviously it's with the LIGO, this and that, a lot of people have different uh, opinions about it. the issue around his skin color, but because of his video LIGO, white folk can easily just put on a curly wig and be mm -hmm. Michael Jackson. Black folk impersonate Michael Jackson too, but they do not play themselves white. They mm -hmm. don't do that. They just mm -hmm. stay black. <laughs> now, you know, yeah, one could say, oh, but, you know, his color changed. So, you know, we all know Michael Jackson anyway. Once you put the wig on, you put some clothes, some sparkly shoes and the white socks over the shoes. Uh, yeah, everybody will know you're Michael Jackson. But still... This stuff doesn't really happen the other way around, except for that movie, White Chicks. Mm. It happens there, which to this day, I don't really know why. That was problematic. But anyway, yeah, so, th but this seems to happen so often the other way around. Our world is being transformed. Mm. Social media is transforming our world. And the real problem is, you know, people keep getting, there was an article that I read, and I read that on my other channel, It's Time for Life. So um, there was an article by Hello Beauty where they were like, are you outraged? They were basically asking, you know, what do you think about this? Are you outraged? And I was like, no, <laughs> <I wasn't laughs> because I, you, you can't, you can't be outraged all the time. Apparently these oh. things will continue to occur. And the fact that, you know, everybody around this person thought this was okay. shows that this is a bigger issue. Maybe this is getting more awareness in certain countries, maybe the UK, the US. Eastern Europe? No, no, <laughs> not so much. So that's a whole other thing. And then a lot of black people in Eastern Europe anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be a big thing to tackle. It's like we're just getting started over there. Mm. So yeah, you, you can't be outraged. Um, we're just bringing awareness. Even we sitting here, we're just bringing awareness and giving our thoughts to it. At the end of the day, hey, uh, people will do what they want to do. That's just how the world goes with all the craziness. You can't stop all of it, mm -mm. but you sure as heck can try. Careful when she's a woman or a man. He <laughs> <laughs> says you can't tell. That's what it is. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Terrible for us. This one will go and commit a crime and you think it's a black person. Well, that's the thing that nobody's really talking about. The fact mm -hmm. that if we're doing things like this now, yeah. This is not going to be a good thing mm -hmm. for what crime is concerned. They, they, they will look at her and they say she's black, but she's not. You will forever be looking for somebody like this. And the mm -hmm, problem mm -hmm, is, mm -hmm. there is somebody that somewhat looks like looks this. Like and they'll go and snatch that mm -hmm, person up. Mm -hmm. How are you going to prove this person had on a mask? 
Nobody. Knows. Security cameras are not gonna pick that up. This is not. They'll, this is not good. They'll pick this face up, but they will not know who is under it. Mm -mm. Yeah. So that's a sad part of it. Pretending and, to be black. And you know what? Black not. people will not do this. Eh, correction, it has already happened. Black man accused of wearing lifelike white man mask to burglarize homes. It has already happened. This is going to be a big problem to stop and fight crime. They're buying rubber masks and using makeup, coming to their neighborhood and committing crime so that you think the person is black. And in the other way, they also do it the other way around. White rubber, bank rubber, changes face with special effects mask. And this actually reminds me that I did a video on my other channel, It's Time for Life, where I was also addressing these masks that were made, I think, in Japan. And they look like actual human beings. Like, these masks are actually really bad. But there are better ones out there. And it's spooky. It's spooky because they're using these things to commit crimes. Now, you might say, oh, this is not linked. And why are we even talking about this? This is just a show. Yada, yada, yada. But it can also be used... To portray a certain stereotype like oh it's always the black people committing the crimes in your neighborhood be wary and be scared of the black man even though it's like white people putting on these black face masks and it happens the other way around too so i do want to address that as well but from my research that i found it's happening more that white people are putting on black masks decades ago to ridicule us and now supposedly to show appreciation for the black people with all the talent but the black people with those talents or black people in general as a collective are not appreciating it so then the question remains why are they continuing you see the people you're supposed to show appreciation for are not appreciating it therefore it's like a gift that you keep giving to somebody that they do not like and have said please don't give me this gift anymore i don't like it i don't want it and you keep giving it is the person gonna appreciate it nope so again it goes back to this is for the gratification of the white person just like back all those decades ago when it was for their pleasure it was a show for white people to enjoy solely for white people to enjoy that is why there's a problem with this because there is a whole history behind it and it's not right i say throw the prosthetics in the bin all of them it it's it, there's no point honestly to show your appreciation in so many other ways as i've already outlined in this video don't want black face but can make black face what african auntie is saying here is you don't want a black face but you want black face make it make sense i mean black people are everywhere now there is no place you won't find black people black but if you can't find black people what's this necessary mm. you know how people don't know that this can lead to backlash at this point is mind no. boggling mm. okay mind boggling mm. um yeah yeah i have a video they just want mm. to do everything for themselves and leave the black people out then leave our face out yeah it, exactly then leave everything about us out. this is why people don't like um white people or people from another race wearing braids and mm -hmm. things like that because like you guys love it on yourselves but hate it when it's on us mm -hmm. how does that make sense for their own glory not for you i don't know yeah it is for their own glory but then stealing another you know, people's image. you know culture and image. and whatever an mm -hmm. image mm -hmm. but hating it when it comes naturally mm -hmm. I mean, really hating it to the yeah, point yeah, where it's like, yeah. don't come to work this way. Remove your locks. Mm -hmm. And before I employ you. Yep. Or oh. you go and there's no employment because you have locks. Mm -hmm. Or you have braids or whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you have white folk going on the runway with locks. Somehow that's... That's okay. Hocateur. Fashion. Designer. Mm -hmm. All this stuff. Somehow it's cool. But our hair can naturally grow like that. Mm. Naturally. And it's not cool. That's not cool. I don't know when we're going to get over the double standard. I really just don't know. On my other channel, It's Time for Life, I'm about to pop out a video about... <laughs> people are taking classes, y'all, to stop being racist. It's, mm. it's incredible. Um, the Papa John CEO recently... Um, well recently he said something about a year ago he said the n-word and and everybody was you know there was a lot of backlash and he didn't understand why there was all that backlash just didn't get why there would be mm -hmm. or could be backlash so that's the thing 
uh, maybe these classes are necessary. Heck, build a school. We need to put a lot of people in this school. Whatever school, pop a lot of people in there because apparently it is not sticking with people that this is not normal. Mm -hmm. They are not getting it that this is not normal. No, it's not. People still don't understand that you can't say certain things. You can't do certain things. Mm -hmm. You just cannot do it. Now, if this woman had done all this beautiful makeup on a black woman, hmm, that would have been interesting. Mm -hmm. Right? If you're able to match her shade, make her skin really look really nice, very glowy, that would have been nice. You know, I can understand the look that she was going for. But to make that look on a prosthetic face, mm -hmm. this is weird to me. Mm -hmm. What was that? A mess. A mess. I have been your co-host and you've been listening to African Auntie and Uncle React. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. <laughs>